Interesting day today. Today what we are doing is we're making water tanks for deer. Quite an operation going on. So we take some old 300 gallon tanks that are out there, we fill them with water, and that's how we fill up some three, 400 gallon other tanks. And basically what we do is put the dirt up to about here. You'll see that in a little while. But on the inside of the tanks, sorry I'm kind of going out of order here, but this is how it happens to work out. Uh, the final step is kind of rubbing the whole things down with uh, dirt, letting them sit there for a little while too before we rinse them all out just so the water isn't perfectly clean because most deer don't like that. Then we'll move on to the next operation, going backwards that is. So we take the old water hose and then we go out here and so the second step going backwards is, is we take these containers and rinse the dickens out of them. Yeah, that water's brown. That's because the water here is very, very filled with iron. And a lot of sand, and there hasn't been a lot of activity this winter. And the step before that, just again, rinse the absolute dickens out of these babies. We just like using the broom to scrub them down. And believe it or not, we've had the best luck using that Dawn Nude dish soap, that fancy stuff. So you just take your hand with some mud on it. Just rub around. Make sure there's nothing in here. And we got the tractor all ready to go, except there's no way in hell we can go up that hill with that big of a tank. So we're going to empty some prior to. Absolute fantastic progress. Take a look at all of these trees that have been cleared out. And what the cool thing about this whole thing is, is the canopy is opening up. So it's going to get a whole bunch of brush down here in the bottom which is great browse for the deer all year long. And right over here is that spot that Wildlife Habitat Solutions suggested that we put in another watering hole and also a licking stick right over here. So I'm doing everything correctly and I'm just doing videos and then I watch people Doing all the work. So a crazy amount of work to get to this place, but this is definitely the place that we want to be at. Um, we had a couple of tanks that were out there last year, but they were essentially 55 gallon drums that were cut in half and then put into the, the ground. 
these are much, much larger, right? I mean, there's probably almost 200 gallons of water in there, so we're hoping that we only have to fill these a couple of times uh, throughout the year. Let the deer get used to it, and actually all the other animals do too. The reason that log is in there is so if a squirrel, possum, whatever the heck it is, coon jumps in there, that they can get out fairly easy. That dog actually did end up jumping in after it was all full, and he was able to get out fairly easy without a problem, too. As you can see, there is an insane amount of rocks, and this was actually pretty good because this was standstone, so it was a lot easier for us to kind of bust it up. Uh, the lay of this land is just extremely high hills, very steep, and lots and lots of uh, rocks. <laughs> We're off at spot number 63,012. Okay, I'm not going to tank. Not ready for this. Find the shovels. It wears you out doing this. A unit. Open the rhino. <laughs> Another one completed. Doesn't that look fantastic? This area is very unique, very unique. A couple of different ridges on top of this hill. Absolutely. Really did. Uh, that's an old logging road that's right there too, by the way. A little bit more to do. It's been a long day. So cool. That is so steep. <laughs> Right up there is where the stand would be. Let's see if I can point to that tree. Beautiful spot. How far down do you think that is? I'd say like 400 feet, 300 feet. Oh, it's here right there. Yep. Oh my God, that's crazy. Right fucking in front of us. <laughs> oh my god, did you get that on camera? I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. Literally like 15 feet from it. <laughs> well, it looks like a good place to have a stand. It's absolutely crazy that that deer stayed there that whole time when we dug that great big hole, filled up everything, and we were just about to leave. Absolutely crazy. But this is the reason we're doing all this. This is from last year. Using those 55 gallon drums cut in half is what we used before and it was crazy the amount of deer that got attracted to this area. With this new setup I am confident that we are going to be happy campers. Well we're coming to an end to this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, any questions throw me a comment out there. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Lots more videos planned to be taken in preparation for the 2024 hunting season. We've got crops to plant. We've got trees to cut. We've got paths to mend. Maybe we can find some morels yet. We will see. See you soon, everyone. Take care. <laughs>